Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020 of the commodities market and the precious metals market. And if you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to this full technical analysis, our signal service or our online trades or uh, or courses i'm sorry so uh, this was, has been a long day but it has been a really really exciting day and very interesting day to be to be fairly honest so there has been a lot of news good and uh, basically terrible and also um and also very good for example there is expected to be a new stimulus bill um however there is also um, the development of a of a new corona strain which is uh, terrifying to be fairly honest everybody's hoping that coronavirus will be over and now all of a sudden it has mutated and uh, that is freaking everybody out also the markets um, and then there's the situation between the brexit situation between um, britain and the european union but we'll start by looking at the euro us dollar index and as you can see we rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then just collapsed so this is a very bearish uh, indication that you have all of this selling come, go, occurring when you get too close to the 20 exponential. So, um, but at this point, I don't think that we are going to test the lows again. If you look at these technical indicators, they are actually turning around. So Castic, CCI, RSI, and uh, the MACD is still under the signal line, but it may well, may well be that we'll have a few days where we'll gradually get closer to the 20 exponential again. That is possible. Uh, the other um, other thing that can happen is that we just collapse from here. That is also possible. Just keep in mind that we're nearly oversold. We're at 31 and the RSI. So there are th two things that basically can happen here. So just pay attention to the, to the US dollar index. If we rally towards the 20 exponential again, you'll see the same thing um, that we saw today, for example, with oil and also with gold and indices, uh, that they will uh, fall quite significantly. And when this basically um, broke down, they rallied. So there is a negative correlation between um, commodities, precious metals and indices, stocks and so on. So, so keep that in mind. So we'll start by looking at uh, oil. And as you can see, we fell really hard today in oil. So we fell all the way down to the 20 exponential, found a lot of support there. This is, it can't be really perfect, more perfect than this. So you can just put a line here for the foreseeable future. And that is every single time we get close to this level, which is 36.2, or the 20 exponential, you should expect this market to rally. So this doesn't mean that we'll go and retest these highs again. Uh, if you look at these technical indicators, they are all turning around. So it may well be that we are going to have a gradual decline again towards the 20 or this uh, support line and then rally from there. So it'll be seen, but these technical indicators are looking more bearish at this point. We were all significantly overbought, so we just needed some kind of bad news in order to get this market tumbling. Um, but yes, it will be very interesting, interesting to see where this market will go uh, the next two three trading days. If we test this level again, which I think is going to happen, uh, then uh, and we rally, then there is a really good indication that we are going to test 50. So let's look at natural gas. So at this point, I did expect this market to absolutely go bonkers and rally significantly to the upside. That has not happened. So there has been uh, news of, of a snowstorm in the United States. And usually when you have that kind of news, these, uh, this market rallies significantly we can just look at what happened only a few years ago or usually in this time of, of the year uh, for example this is back in 2018 and this is to, uh, back in 2000 and 
13 at the end of the year that usually have an enormous spike. Also, in other years when it isn't really that warm in October, November, no cold, I mean, in October, November, you have these spikes. So we'll see. Um, at this point, we have not managed to rally above the 200 moving average in the weekly chart, and we have not managed to rally above the 20 exponential moving average in the daily chart. Technical indicators are very flat. They're not extremely bullish whatsoever. They're technically flat at this point, and that's not a very good indication. Um, so we have been stand, uh, spending um, six trading days at the 20 uh, at this point. Last time we spent five, we just broke down quite significantly. And at this point, I'm um, I'm more betting on that is going to happen at this stage as well. If you don't, if you spend this uh, amount of time at the same spot it's going to break towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at uh, copper. So copper broke down quite significantly down uh, today. We were we went from roughly here 3.64 all the way down to 3.54 and then rallied a little bit. But this has a, this is a market that has been overstretched for a very very long time. Um, it is actually amazing how far this market has gone since March. So we were down all the way down to 1.9, and now we're trading at uh, at 3.57. That's absolutely enormous um, gains in this market. Technical indicators uh, for this market are looking dreadful, but it's it looks like the 20 exponential is st still the bottom. If we get close to this level here, it is basically a buying opportunity. So um, I don't think they will get closer than uh, these, these previous lows. So that is roughly uh, 3.4979 to be very exact. I have no interest in basically shorting this. The closer that we get to the 20, if you can see a rally from there, that is a buying opportunity. So let's look at gold. So Gold is a very interesting market to to uh, to uh, make a technical analysis at the moment. At this point, my theory about where this market is going is still holding, and it is getting really close actually. So we have this upper support line, we have the top here, top here, and then basically we have this uh, trend line there. And uh, then we have the bottom here, and we also have the bottom there. And if we make another line right here, we can see that we have created a, a triangle. And uh, usually what happens is that we just bounce around in between this resistance and support line until we get close to this corner, and then we have a breakout. So I'm definitely bullish in this market. In the long run, this is going to go significantly higher. The question is just when. And um, today we rallied all the way up towards this resistance line. We didn't get there, but we got really close. We broke down all the way down towards the 20 exponential and found support at the 20 exponential. So you can say that it's not the 200 that is the it's, um, support at the moment or this is the resistance uh, support line. This is actually the 20 exponential. So. We're trading in between this resistance line and the 20 exponential. If we break below the 20, then we're heading to 20, the 200, and then probably to the support line. I would be very surprised if that, to see that happen, but it can happen. If we get close to the uh, this support line here and we rally, then I'm absolutely all in in this market. Technical indicators are looking more uh, bearish at this point. The stochastic has crossed the signal line to the downside. The, the CCI is turning around. The RSI is flat, and usually the MACD takes two, three trading days in order to basically turn around. So we may well be that we will test this um, 20 exponential again. If that breaks, we're heading to the towards the 200 and probably this support line. But that would be amazing if we could do that because I would be all in to buy this. In the long run. I believe that we're going to break this resistance line here like we have done in silver and then head towards 1900, 2000, also 2100. So let's look at silver. 
as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards, uh, this was a 27.31 and then broke down again. At this point, I think that we got way ahead of ourselves. So uh, very similar to uh, gold, we had this resistance line here, which we broke out of um, three, four trading stations ago. And then since then we have rallied. So if we fall back from here towards uh, the 20 exponential, that should be um, supportive. And that is basically your buying opportunity. It is highly unlikely that we'll break below this uh, resistance line. Again, this is a very negative candlestick. This got way up ahead of itself. It was way over uh, overstretched. And so that's why we have this major pullback. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are either uh, bearish or flat at this point. So expect this to fall a little bit, probably towards the 20 exponential. If you rally from there, and then that's uh, your buying opportunity. So let's look at platinum. So platinum absolutely got crushed today and uh, we fell roughly down towards 972 and that's these previous highs here. So it ran into that area and then turned around. So roughly here. You can see these previous highs, there's where we found support, rallied again, and now we're above the 20 exponential moving average. So a lot of movement in this market. Um, we also ran into the Fibonacci retracements here. If you look at around this area here, we have the 50 just at, sorry, rid of this, just around here, just above the 50, we found support. So. We didn't test the 50, but I'm pretty sure if we got closer to the 50, then we will basically pull back when we basically did. So at this point, we're trading above the 20 exponential, and that means that 20 is still supportive, and we could basically see this market go higher. Um, I would be surprised if we went all of a sudden to these very highs. We may retest these levels again. If this breaks and we head below the uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement, then we're heading towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are looking dreadful at this point, but when you have this massive pullback, then these indicators will turn around. But we also have a lot, a, a lot of buyers coming in and pulling this above the 20 exponential. So it'll be interesting what happens basically tomorrow in this market. So let's look at Pallium. So we broke down yet again. So last week we rallied out of this triangle and now we found another support resistance here at 2.397 and now we broke down again. So this is a market that is very tricky to trade because we are in the middle of nowhere. We have this top here and this bottom and we're just staying in the middle. So last week we could make out this triangle and uh, we did manage to get a trade in because we went into this corner here and then rallied it the other day. But today we broke down again and now we just have to wait. If we get close to this uh, support line, it's possible to buy it. If we get close to this resistance line, it is possible to sell it. But at the moment we're in the middle of nowhere. So. Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want full and the full access to this video with all of the technical in, uh, uh, technical analysis of all the commodities on Etoro, you're welcome to head over to uh, our Patreon channel. The link is down below. So good luck and thank you very much.